what's the wall of worry? What's keeping you up at night? What's going to go wrong? Uh, really quick, uh, three things, uh, massive uh, deficits, massive debt, uh, what it means, the implications of rates higher for longer. We saw how what happened in March with March Madness taking out four or five banks. There was a very quick and swift policy response, but uh, another problem could happen again. Uh, number two, AI adoption and the love for AI uh, might not all be happening at the same time. This is a long-term thing, like climate change. Uh, it's not all going to work right now. There's going to be periods of uh, cycles with AI adoption. We're okay for now, but who knows if, you know, when earnings miss and investors are going to be quick uh, to exit. Uh, number three, geopolitical. Uh, this uh, crisis and conflict is a bit more complicated than what we've seen in the past. Plus a big election cycle. Right? An election cycle, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's politics in the U.S., everything from income inequality to the election cycle. Just because the U.S. is the trendsetter for a lot of the world, it, uh, you know, what happens in politics here has real-life implications for geopolitics, right? How many carrier groups can we send into the, into the Middle East? Uh, how, how well can we support Ukraine? Uh, and, uh, you know, in, impact on taxes, impact on uh, environmental policy. Uh, you know, every election matters. We have our local elections coming up tomorrow. Hopefully everybody votes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that definitely, in the very short term, that keeps me up at night more so than anything else. And Sophie? Two things, misestimation of risk, uh, and therefore something that could massively impact uh, my positions and the size that we thought was appropriate. And the second one would be baked in bias in whatever underlying logic myself or my colleagues baked in certain strategies, including the secular decrease in interest rates uh, or the resurgence of new narratives, to which extent has this uh, influenced or polluted my way of thinking, such that I'm baking an extra ingredient in my strategies today I'm not even aware of. Mark, bring us home. Look, I think um, inflation is going to be a lot stickier than people think it is. I think it's going to be with us for a while. I see rates still go, I mean, higher for longer or, you know, even higher than they are now. Um, and, you know, we live in a world where we can't really discount that um, exogenous effect that can come from, uh, you know, these um, the political risk, uh, you know, uh, so that can happen any day. Um, but uh, I think we have plenty of endogenous events that are causing enough risk. Uh, that uh, to worry about aside from the exogenous ones. It's a lot to keep us up at night. Well, thank you, everyone. Really appreciate uh, the conversation here. Thanks, everyone, for listening in. Please give a warm round of applause to the panelists.